So we're going to try to mount the cellular gateway from Comcast and we want to mount it this way. It's got four eyelets, but we only need two and I'm going to use the top two to mount it. This used to be really difficult for me because I'd try to use a measuring tape to measure the distance between the two eyelets, put a screw in and then measure from the center of one screw head to where the other one goes. But I found a tip that makes this way easier. You just take a piece of paper and you line it up on one of the edges and then you use a pencil and you just do a rubbing and you can see the exact shape of the eyelet when you do the rubbing, just like when you were a little kid. So that shows us where the two eyelets are. Then if you've got any space constraints, you can also mark the edge of your device so that you see it, so you know how far down you can go. Once you're done with that, you can fold it on that mark. And now we've got a piece of paper that's roughly the dimensions of this with our eyelets already on there. So we're just going to hold this to the wall and put screws there and then we'll adjust for depth once we get that going. So we've got our markings and we're just going to hold it on the wall. If you're really particular about it being level, you may want to put a level on there. You could also tape this to the wall to make it a little easier to hold. I'm going to go to the center of the top of the eyelet that we're going to use. You could just go to the center of the hole. As long as you're consistent, it's not a big deal. And then without moving the piece of paper around, you want to get the other one in there. So again, we're going to go to the top center of that eyelet. And once you get it started, you can just take your paper off. As far as depth, you know, testing it is the best way to figure out depth. So we're just going to grab our device. And this is curved, which is pretty unusual. And it can still be kind of hard to get them started sometimes just because of the angles and everything. There's one, there's the other, and then push down and it's on there nicely. The other trick, because somebody could bump this and it could come up, and so you could spend a bunch of time backing them in and out to get them perfect where it's snug down. But if you're really worried about it coming up, just take another screw of any kind and put it in on top Oop. and now it can't go up so it can't come off so now we're nice and snug and we can mount the rest of our equipment